when you think about the Abraham Lincoln Brigade, that points to an aspect of our movement that it's really important to understand. There's a famous writer named Sherwood Anderson. You ever heard of Sherwood Anderson? He wrote Winesburg, Ohio. He was a, a novelist. And at one point, Sherwood Anderson was asked, what's the difference between a socialist and a communist? What's the difference? And he said, I don't know the technical difference, but it seems to me like the communists, they're the ones who mean it. <laughs> and what he was pointing to was the fact that when we do something, we really do it. <laughs> In the early 1930s, the understanding was that the Social Democrats and the reformists, the sellout leaders who had sold out the revolution in Germany, that were leading workers to oppose the Soviet Union in the name of socialism, that they were the main threat. And it was necessary to expose the Social Democrats and the reformists. And so when that was the line of the Communist International, we didn't just half-ass oppose the Social Democrats. We didn't just sort of oppose the Social Democrats. We went all in. We really opposed the Social Democrats because we understood that that was what was necessary. And so all over the world, communists went into class against class mode to expose the social democrats and build a united front from below because we understood that that was the correct tactic. And then we know that after the rise of Hitler and as the situation changed, the line changed and it became correct to align with the social democrats in a united front against fascism. And when that line changed, we didn't just half-ass align with them against fascism. What did we do? We built the Abraham Lincoln Brigade and went and fought in Spain. We had the Battle of Cable Street in London. We built huge anti-fascist mobilizations. We are the reason Roosevelt won the 1936 presidential election. Yep. When we do something, we do it hard. We do it hard. There was a labor leader who once remarked, he said, if it's three in the morning, at your labor union hall and there's two guys running the mimeograph machine, you can bet at least one of them is a communist. <laughs> and the people who criticize our movement, right, this is a really common critique from Trotskyites, is they'll say, well, hey, they zigzag, you know, they're always reversing themselves, you know, they do this and then they do that, yeah. If the situation changes in 24 hours, the tactics must also change in 24 hours. And sometimes what's correct on Monday is not correct on Tuesday, and it's not correct on Wednesday, and you have to change your tactics. And when you're as dedicated as we are, and when you never half-ass these things, when you take it very seriously, when you are fully committed to achieving what we aim to achieve, it can look a little strange to people who don't get it. And they can go, well, one day you're running this way, and the next day you're running this way. Yes, and every way that we run, we're running hard because we understand that it's necessary and that it must be done.